in the humble hills of the avium savannah. You ain't a man until you settled up your first capybara. Howdy there, partner. My name's Woody Wild, and this is the Wild West. I've lived at the Locust Oasis my whole life, but now that our borders have opened, it's time for me to leave home and see the big white world. For the first time, Balamorians with a passport can enter Mistelin's borders, as well as a place called Port Serim that can take me over to Greater Corum by ship. Plus, I've heard of a land called the Wilds that nobody rules over, and that sounds just like home to me. I wonder if they have capybaras there too? I'm sure no harm will come in finding out. What's good everyone, we are kicking off today with hopefully some goodies, we'll have to see, I've got a few things lined up here, starting off with a Hespori that I just took care of, you may notice I'm also up to 75 Hunter now, we got two Palm Tree Seeds and an Atas Seed there, nothing crazy, we'll get the next one planted, yeah I'm up to 75 Hunter, I have got about 6000 bolts ready to go, and just over a hundred of the prayer moths but they were very quick to get the moths so like if i'm using them quickly i can always go and restock fairly easily and as you'll see here i've got some easy caskets to open three of them in fact i'm hoping for some sort of prayer gear in here the absolute best would be headgear so a mitre a holy mitre or meter i don't know how you say that word not much chance of that on three but these are so painful to farm on there's like 10% of the steps that we can actually do so it takes so long just to find good steps to juggle like this took me about an hour and 20 minutes just to get these so if we get a mitre here I'm buzzing because that'll help massively in the worm grind to come I would not be mad at a rope top either though Okay, nothing. Well, that's about standard in it. One more try at something good. Daily runes? Garbage. Okay, last hopeful goodies to turn in. We've got eight Laren's keys built up from all the Slayer training I did in the last episode. I just forgot to actually open them on camera until I was editing the video. And I couldn't be bothered to go and record another clip. I thought I'd just move it to this one. So here we are. Eight keys, gotta be something good in at least one or two of these, right? Fingers crossed for some nice drops here. Garbage. Okay, but not amazing. Meh. Very, very, very good. Garbage. Garbage. Garb. Okay. Yeah, they, they were okay. The steel bars. Absolutely goated. That's a lot of smithing XP right there. Could say the same thing about the ore, but I just don't have a great way to get coal other than as big drops from random things like the Laren's chest. I don't have like a sustainable method of getting coal. So ore is worth a lot less to me than bars are. A lot, lot less. Those bars though, lovely stuff indeed. 18k experience there. Another six on the gold ore. Good stuff. Rest was kind of disappointing though. Okay, folks. No more time to waste. We've got no good headgear, unfortunately. There is nothing for me to wear other than this cowl. Is it even worth plus two range? Yeah, it's probably worth it. Okay, we'll go fedora. Classic style. So yeah, this is what I'm going to be killing worms in, folks. We've got a plus 132 ranged bonus. No ranged... Oh, we got 55 range strength. That's just from the bolts. 12 prayer could be better. We could have had an extra 5 if we'd managed to get one of those mitres, but it's honestly just so slow to farm. I could waste days trying to get one of those rather than just going to worms. And yeah, that's about it really. There's nothing fancy going on here. I'm hoping it's good enough to at least start getting some KC down. But I'm going to take 5 on this first trip and see how that feels. Not going to use offensive prayers because it's going to be draining me enough as it is. And we've got some battlefront teleports I made to quickly get me back here if I decide to do more of a reset at Ferox approach, which I more than likely will. I don't know if this is going to be enough to last a full invent, but we'll get as many as we can out of this and then bank and then 
it looks like we need more, we'll bring more on the next trip. Oh, we need the fucking boots. Shit, I don't get to wear mixed hide boots. Uh, it doesn't even look like I have them, so I'll have to buy some. Boots of stone acquired. So as a reminder from the last video, the item we are here for, that all this glory is grinded towards, has been in aid of, is a dragon short sword. The cheapest drop if you are buying it from the GE. However, potentially one of the most useful upgrades for my account to date. Got no range potions or way of boosting our range, unfortunately. But as you can see, this crossbow is actually pretty fucking lit. Like, I did a bunch of Slayer with it after I got it, and it's just... It's just an, an MSB, but one-handed, which means I can take a prayer book. Not that it's a great prayer book, but it's plus two or plus three or something. It's better than nothing, right? doesn't have a spec, but yeah, it's an MSB. I think it even has slightly improved accuracy, maybe. There's a combat task for the first kill. I forgot to bring Alks. I should have brought Alks. Okay, next time. Oh, and for what it's worth, folks, I have unlocked bigger and badder, so we can spawn superiors. Would certainly be nice to see. Time to release the first Moonlight Moth on the account. Ooh, look at that. Yeah, I'm thinking six moths might just be perfect. Maybe seven? It's hard to tell. Because if I'm alking two, then seven might be better. So far, so good. I just started flicking at the end here to just conserve a bit. So I can get my invent full. How much do these guys actually hit me if I leave it off? Okay, never mind. Okay, that's the first invent down. Do a quick reset. Got 19 kills in. Okay, I'll try six this time. Chaps. That might actually be an upgrade from the mixed hide chaps. If I recall correctly, I think the mixed hide chaps have better melee defenses, but this has better magic and maybe even slightly better range defenses, but slightly, slightly less ranged offense. It's worth keeping though for sure. Just interesting item. Also, I'm out of moths on this invent and I've still got like a bunch of space to fill, so six I don't think is enough. I mean, granted, I've been alking things as I go, so there's less random jank. We haven't had any rune drops this time either, which were taking up space on the last invent, just random runes. Yeah, kind of tough to figure it out because there's variance with how much DPS you deal, but it seems like, I don't know, I think I might bring eight moths next time. Like I said, the moths are very easy to get because they're literally in the basement of the Hunter's Guild, so there's a bank there, you go bank them, go into the basement, catch the moths, go bank them, repeat. There's even a guy who sells butterfly jars there, so you don't even need to have those banks, you can just buy them on your way back downstairs. So it takes like two minutes to get a full invent of moths. Not bad at all, I don't mind if I have to bring like eight or ten per invent. So much more chill to do something with Pren when it's not costing me Renar weeds and Prayer Potion. Like, this is my first time really on RuneScape being able to do this. Outside of leagues where we had Prayer Restore on the attacks with Soul Steel. But even then, you still needed some pots with you. Okay, we'll call that a reset. first brimstone key. Is that not a collection log? That's crazy. Pretty sure Lawrence key was. 
There's nothing crazy interesting in the brimstone chest, but some useful supplies. Some stuff that is not so useful, at least not until much later levels. But you know, there's a chance of 3 to 5 run R seeds in there at a 1 in 60 rate. You can get a couple hundred gold ore or a few hundred coal. They're 1 in 12 rate. There's a bunch of different supplies and nice little things. There is also mystic robes in there, which we don't currently have access to, so I wouldn't hate getting some of them. And then raw fish, depending on your current fishing level. We could maybe get some monkfish out of that, because we can't usually get those. Yeah, definitely will be nice to turn in any that we do get along the way of this grind. Definitely feel like 8 was probably the perfect amount. Maybe could have gone away with 7, but it just feels safer to bring 8. It's another trip finished up. Another trip just finished up. 80kc so far, nothing too interesting. And that trip finishes up on a clean 100kc. Nothing super exciting so far. The only thing of potential note is that brimstone key. No superiors, no dragon items outside of the dagger, but you know, we've only killed 100. Uh, I am going to switch up my gear slightly, however. I thought that the combat bracelet gave prayer bonus, but it actually doesn't seem like it does. It's just giving us plus 7 ranged accuracy effectively, which, while nice, is not going to be... Oh, I didn't make any spotters. Okay, I guess I'll go do that real quick. I thought I already made these. Yeah, I'm gonna go make some bracelets of slaughter. For those who don't know, they have a 25% chance while you're wearing them to not count a kill as part of your slayer task, which means that the task should last roughly 33% longer. Of course, I'm only equipping it halfway through the task because I'm an idiot and I thought the prior bonus came on combat bracelet. But yeah, without it, with just a little bit of ranged accuracy, I don't think it's worth the difference. If it seems to be significantly worse, then I may switch back, but I think this will be better. Just for holding onto the tasks longer and giving us more chances at the drop. Lovely stuff that'll keep us going. I think I will just go with the cowl, uh, the coif though now to make up for that extra little tiny bit of lost accuracy. It's a little 122 range bonus, it's not bad at all. Right, I'm gonna go hit 420, because it's 418 now, and then I am gonna come back and finish off the rest of this task. But I'm gonna do it muted. I'll leave the camera on just in case anything happens, but I'm gonna mute myself and watch some videos on the second monitor. So yeah, I guess I'll see y'all when either something interesting happens or I finish the task and we go try and get a new one. One hour later. Hey oops folks, just got our first superior towards the end of this first task. Can't remember if there's anything special with these guys that I need to be aware of. Please tell me I'll be able to get this kill before my prey runs out. This is our first superior on the account as well, for what it's worth. Not just this first Shadow Worm, but the first superior Slayer monster of any type. Imbued Heart? I'm excited then when I saw purple. Brimstone Key, I will take the... Is a doable step on the hard. Almost done with this task, just one more trip basically. And there's our first worm task completed. I managed to get 174 worms, apparently. Oh yeah, because of the shadow worm as well. 15 extra than the task, so we did do a decent job there. I'm obviously going to see if I can just try and get another one straight away, and I may as well grab a couple of brimstone keys that we got. Two of them. It's pretty chill doing this though, they're not really anything you have to watch out for. It's fairly AFK, just have to pick a new target when the current one dies. Unfortunately we're not even gaining slayer points for these because that was the third task I've done outside of the wilderness. Still two more before we can get another. Alright, you gonna be kind and give us it back to back? I don't even know if you can, but no. Uh, that's a doable task. I don't want to push my slayer level up, I think I have to cancel trolls is a cancel. Worms, there we go, third one. That wasn't too bad at all. I just need to double check actually, I should have done this before, but I don't know if there's a way to extend worms. No, there's no worm extension. Interesting. Okay, well, at least I didn't make any mistakes there. Let's see what's in the chest. I'll take that. I'll take that too. Two good drops. Very happy with that. 
And then, yeah, I guess I'll just be moving on to this next task, doing the same thing again, I'll leave the camera on, watch probably another episode of Gilmore Games that I'm re-watching for the umpteen for time. I'm going to be stacking up a lot of prayer XP as well, with all the worm bones. It will be very nice to turn all that in at the end. It's our second superior, just at the end of this trip here. 233 regular worms killed so far at this point. Never lucky. Got a slight level on that kill. 63. Not actually ideal. Like I say, we don't want slight levels because we can get more different tasks then. Also, why am I killing another? I've got full invent. Oh, well, it's almost dead. Guessing they're guaranteed brimstone keys every time. Third superior coming in hot. Almost 300 total KC. Has been very uneventful. Nothing crazy that. Went to restock on moths recently as well, because it was very low. May as well uh, turn these three keys in before I go for a spliff break in a minute. Got an extra range level recently as well, up to 72 now. Slowly catching up to our other combat stats. And that is the reason that I decided to do this grind first before Dragon Plate Legs, even though Dragon Plate Legs is probably the easier grind. Because if I can get range levels from this, Probably have an easier time getting the plate leg from the Colosseum, potentially. Nothing crazy there on the drops, unfortunately. Magic seeds, though, when ev eventually. I don't have the level for them yet, but I don't think I'm that far off. It's like 10 levels, so they will eventually come in handy for sure. Iron ore far less exciting with the amount that we have. <laughs> yeah, like, iron ore is basically a dead drop for us, because we just don't have the coal to support. The iron that we already have. It's, uh, it's a gross imbalance here. There's not much I can do about it. There's another task completed. Managed to get an extra 55 kills on task so far. Used almost two bracelets of slaughter, which is absolutely fantastic. So definitely glad I decided to switch over onto that because it's getting me a lot more on task kills in we need to preserve those for as long as we can just it will run out eventually let's see if we can't just snag ourselves another task though although I'm probably gonna call it a night jellies in the catacombs that's kind of tempting No, it's not worth it. I think I'm going to do this one, just because it won't get me that much Slayer XP. I can AFK it. It will get me my fifth task so that I am then earning points, and it won't cost me another 30 to cancel it. So, yeah, I think I'll, I'll go AFK this for the rest of the night, get some melee stats up, I guess. Maybe hit 80 strength. And then tomorrow, come back to the worm grind. We got 363 done so far, plus three shadow worms. Hopefully tomorrow have some better luck than we did today. Or if not, at least make a dent in it still. See what these two keys have that I picked up, though. We got 10 rune ore and some renar seeds. Nice, I'll take the renar seeds. Not going to be mad about that one. Well, I will go kill these Nagua and catch up with you all tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. Oh, for Woody, I should probably say bad morning, unfortunately. I killed the Nagua last night. I went to try and get another worms task and I couldn't get one. So... We now have 38 reward points left rather than 600, and we've currently got a Hellhounds task. It dried up that quickly. Two tasks and then I couldn't get another. I did actually get offered two more worm tasks, but they were both the Napoleonsley Dungeon ones. Yeah, just a lot of cancels last night in a row and ended up just sticking on this one. I'm at a point where I can basically either cancel this and go back to Wilderness Slayer, or I can do it and carry on but as soon as i get one that i can't actually do i have to cancel it and then go do wilderness slayer so i'm basically going to keep going for as long as i can with it which unfortunately does mean i'm going to be killing these hellhounds 
but it should be fairly AFK. It's not worldy content at least, so I should just be able to sit there without really paying attention and, and shoot them. But anyway, I thought I'd come over here because I did get one more key at the Nagua, so I may as well open it while I was updating y'all on the travesty that is a Hellhound's task and no more Slayer points. Yay, 50k. And yeah, I'm bringing my expeditious because I don't want to do this task. I'm only doing it because I have to. I'm just assuming that there'll be somewhere I can safe spot them. Right, I guess I'll see you guys when I've got this task done. Oh, there's 73 ranged coming in right at the end of this Hellhounds task. It was very unexciting as expected. Uh, this isn't new. I, I got this yesterday from a Shadow Worm. I just thought I'd try and juggle them because Hellhounds have hard clue drops and I haven't had a single hard clue drop. So, yeah. I managed to go 21 kills under. It was meant to be a 131. So the Expeditious saved me 21 kills, which is nice. I'm just praying now that we get another Worm task. Yeah, we don't have enough points to skip and get a new task. If we have to cancel, then we have to go back to Wilderness Slayer. If it's a doable task, then I have to just do it. If I manage to chain together like four doable tasks, then we'll get a task bonus at 10. That'll be an extra 180 points, could be big. So ideally that's how this goes, but it's more than likely gonna be something that we can't do. Oh no, we can do that. I will go and do 129 blood belts. That's doable. It's not great, but it's doable. Unfortunately, we are basically just leveling Slayer at this point, because I'm up to 64 now. I've already gained two levels since unlocking the worms. It's good for future. Like, future me is going to be really thankful that I have these Slayer levels. But right now, it just means that the higher the level goes, the less chance of being offered worms every time we come back to Kona. So it's kind of problematic. But so far, we haven't unlocked anything new. Uh, we've had spiritual ranges, so we could get offered spirituals in Asgarnia, I guess. Pretty sure that's on the list. Dust Devils will be soon, but that's not particularly bad as long as it doesn't tell us to kill them in the desert, then we should be okay, we can do those. Yeah, and the Withens at 66 would be the next one. So, there's some things beginning to get unlocked that we can't do the higher we level up here, but you know, what else can we do? Like I say, if I can get up to like 10 tasks, then maybe I can string together enough to get some points and be able to cancel so um task. Uh, two brimstone keys though, may as well. Gold ore is okay, but it's quite a small amount. There's nothing crazy on the blood veil drops. Like, ideally we could get some dark totem pieces, because Skatizo is the only way to get an onyx on my account. So, getting that grind going as soon as we can, getting as many totems as possible would be great. So I don't actually mind doing tasks in, in core and catacombs. It's not too bad for us. Uh, but yeah, I'll just do it off cam. We could get a superior, but chances are something good actually dropping from a superior pretty low. If it does happen, I'll just catch you guys up on it after. See you when it's time to see Kotonar again. Well, got the blood belts down. I think it was 131, so we saved 31 kills from actually having to be done. Very nice. Two brimstone keys, got one superior. Nothing from it aside from a key and dark totem base, so one third of the way to our first Skatizo kill. Gonna see if we can get some more magic to happen from Kona and special shout out to my first 500 subscribers. Right now I'm side of the 501 and I'm absolutely thrilled. So thanks y'all, thanks for being here with me. I can't wait to share more fun of the game with y'all. Let's begin with a worm task right now, how about that? That's not a worm task. We can do it though, so I think we probably should. We do have one skip now, but if we skip and then we get one that we can't do, then we're back to square zero or square minus one even. It's quite a short task as well. Yeah, just gonna have to do this. Two chests, not very good. Anku down, that is eight tasks. We are here at task number nine, wishing for worms. That's not a doable task, so we have to cancel that one, which is going to put us on 62 points. It means I can take one more, but after that, I can't cancel again. Too rough that we can't do that either. I can't get another task. I can cancel, but I can't get another task because I now have 32 points. Wait, can I get another one? If I get another one and it's bad and I cancel it, then I just go to Wilderness, right? Because there's no task from Wilderness Slayer that we can't do. 
Otherwise, we're just going there now anyway, so... Okay, one more. Giant's to I think that is a doable task. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can do that. And okay, I'll I'll do some fire giants. Beautiful. We still got thirty points. See you all after some fire giants. You're gonna have to excuse the lack of me being set up with my green screen to properly record. I just got a champion scroll from a fire giant. Yeah, this is quite a few hours since the last clip, because I've just been busy with other stuff. I'm like halfway through the task. Guess we'll do that at some point. These are like 1 in 5,000, so pretty cool. As weird and probably useless as it is. Because some of them have XP rewards, right? Oh, oh, we get 280 Slayer XP and Hit Points XP. Wow. Oh, still, very cool. And that is the fire giants all taken care of. Managed to get three brimstone keys as well as that champion scroll, so not terrible for uh, as far as fire giants go. But really, we are wishing on a worm here. We've only got one cancel. And if we do have to cancel, then we can't get another task. We have to go to wilderness. Greater demons in Brimhaven. So when we cancel this... We can't get another, because we've only got 20 points. So now I have to go do Wildy Slayer, until I have enough points to try again here. Which to be fair, is only one task, right? But fuck knows what the task will be, it might be a long one. Iron ore, dragon arrow tips, rubies. Kind of hope it just gives me like something just quick and easy, like spiders or rats or whatever. That would be ideal. Hill giants. Could be better, but it could be worse. See you all in a bit. I might just come back when I have a worm task. Because fuck knows how many times I might have to repeat this process of skipping and then going back to Wilden Slayer and shit. Hopefully not too much more. Because we're already gaining Slayer levels rapidly. We're up to 65. Yeah, we got 20 points. So we will be able to have one more try after this task. But I'll probably not be up for long after this task tonight anyway. I'll see y'all when I have some worms to kill. Hey folks, just a minor update here. Currently got a Steel Dragons task. I've got 75 points. I did the Hill Giants task in the wilderness, and then I've just done a Hellhounds task in the catacombs. So we got a bonus for the 10th completion, and then I had to do a couple cancels, and I got to this Steel Dragons task, which is theoretically a cancel because we can't do it without an anti-fire potion even with boosts which we can obtain we'd need level 65 to be able to get it done so how the hell do i get level 65 well if i make 700 potions in mastering mixology that gets it done and i think i can because I've got quite a bit of pace built up from random times that I've been there. Let's go check it out together. I know I ain't got my green screen and shit set up, but this will only be a quick clip. I think this will be a good task to do, because it could actually stop one of the other grinds. They drop dragon plate skirts and plate legs, so if it's doable, I think I would like to do it. It's just going to take some herb law grinding to get there. Okay, so like I say, I've done a little bit of this, not a great deal. And right now, I've got a lot of paste. Each pa each potion takes 30, right? So, 30 times 7, 11 is 21,000 paste. Okay, I don't have a 21,000 paste. <laughs> well, I could cancel this task, but I, I don't actually want to. I think it's better for me to just grind this out. I don't have enough supplies, so I guess I'm going to go do a farm run first. I don't even know what my herb seeds are looking like. Okay, we've got Renards, we can get them. Soon be at Lander, which we've got a shit ton of. Still a few levels away there, 73. Quite a few levels. I guess I'll see you all when I've maybe got some herb law. Well, folks, it took me two days of constant farm runs and master in mixology, and now I've just finished off Fairy Tale Part 2 for the final little bit to get us to level 65. It's a big, big milestone for us. There's some XP, and there is the rest of our XP. We are level 65 Herblor. This means they can now make super defense potions and we'll have unlocked that benefit on the moonlight potions that we use in the Portly Dungeon. Very nice. 
very nice upgrade to have for when we go back to Perilous Moons. Perhaps more importantly right now though, it allows us to get some blue dragon scales, because I'm going to need them with these Lanta Dimes here. I think the best place for me to do that is actually... I bet there's some blue dragon scales in here. I haven't looked it up, but there's blue dragons here. Yeah, look at that. I'm so good at this game. Just gonna grab one invent. Okay, so... We've got 23. Oh, let's do eight at a time. Should be able to eat this. Combine these. Lovely stuff. First anti-fire potions on the account. We gotta move kinda quick, cause... We don't wanna lose the boost. I've got more pies, but less we use the bar. Oh, just lost it with five left. You know, I might just leave it there. We've got quite a lot out of it. Four pies left, so I can always make more if I need to, but what did we get there? 18 three doses. So we got 13 full doses. That more than enough to get our task done. Our task is only like 50. 45. 45 steel dragons. So I'm probably just going to earth blast them. Some sort of earth swell against them because they're weak to that. And hopefully we get dragon plate legs or a dragon plate skirt. But at the very least we will get the task done and move on to hopefully worms. Because our worm grind is fully fucking stalled out. Alright. I'll see you guys after some drugs. Hey there everyone. I am not sure what day it is in comparison to the last clip. Did the steel dragons, did hellhounds, did mountain trolls, did fire giants. I'm back to an amount of points where I can't cancel. I think I have 27 and I've got wilderness bandits now. It's starting to feel pretty hopeless going down this path. I'm just doing ta slayer task after slayer task that isn't what I want to be doing. Never building up enough points. Like eventually I'd get to a bonus that gives me a bit of a spree, but even that could just go bust. And at this rate, I feel like I could hit 99 Slayer before I see another worm task, <laughs> you know? Obviously that's not very likely, but it could happen. I feel like the chance of me getting a dragon sword just by going at this is slim because it's, it's taking too long just to get the tasks and... It's been like five days since I've killed a worm, and I could have killed, I don't know how many worms in that time. Where are they? They're that far back now. I could have killed probably like five times as many worms as I've got in that time if I'd just been at it. So, yeah, it's five times the drop rate. One in 10,000 up from one in 2,000. But at this point, getting a slayer task is like one in 10,000. I think I'm just going to go and kill some worms tonight. I'm just going to chill with it. I'll leave the camera on in case of the crazy rewarding drop but i'm not gonna be talking for the most part i'm just gonna be chilling listening to music and shooting worms that is pretty much what the night is gonna consist of i don't have that many bolts left so i guess i'll be going until these bolts run out i'm a bit stuck at the minute of how best to progress this grind a bit of a sticky situation oh apparently i have a brimstone key to turn in few of them recently but nothing crazy is come up. I didn't realise I actually had another one though. Let me go do that on the way there. Garbage. Right, well, hopefully I will see you all in five worm kills for a dragon sword and then I can stop stressing about all this. Just hit 500 KC. That is combined with the ones that we did on Slayer Task as well, but trying to keep track of them separately is just going to be dumb at this point. I'm not expecting to do more on Task. Maybe I'll give up and switch back if this is like plus if I get like multiple of the dragon drops but not the one I want of the four or something like that then I don't know maybe but 500 kc wasn't expecting anything so far we're aiming for 10,000 so you know there's there's a long way to go yeah I don't know if I've killed 10,000 anything on this account probably the most thing is Nagua or Sulfur Nagua we're at 7,000 of them so, yeah, I'm gonna need to kill more worms than I've killed Sulfonagua, which is, uh, pretty absurd. Well, potentially, unless we get spooned, but... Then again, anywhere in the next 2,000 could still be classed as spooned. <laughs> How bad is you grind when the first 2,000 KC counts as spooning? Alright then. 
All right, folks, just finished up a trip, and I'm gonna have to restock. I have 96 bolts left, so I'm probably gonna have to spend the rest of the night just getting bolts, really, and the moths are getting low now, too, 27 of those left, so I'm gonna restock on bolts and moths. I, I think I'm just gonna keep going. I'm just gonna grind this out for as long as it takes to get my dragon sword, because Slayer just felt bad when I was doing tasks that weren't what I wanted to be doing. I mean, it was actually good because I was leveling my Slayer, but we'll get to that. Like, I just want the fucking item. I do have a hard clue. I was trying to juggle them. I noticed something interesting, almost accidentally, because I was dropping the clue. I tried to mark the tile it was on and change the color of the mark tile, which I've done previously to say that, like, this was a good clue, but I accidentally clicked on the colour of the clue, and I didn't even know I could do this, but I can change the colour of clues, and it's separate depending on what type of clue it is, like, what the clue says on it, because I had a bad one that I dropped, and that wasn't recolored. so I changed that one to red, and, like, picked these up and dropped them, left the area and came back, and they were still green. So that's an interesting feature that I didn't know existed. But I think, like, if I went to do some easy clue scroll farming, and I may do it while I'm restocking, just to, like, try this out, I could potentially just, like, mark all the clues, whether they were red or green, and then it'd just be so much easier to see which ones are good and bad. I can just drop them wherever, rather than worrying about getting them all on a particular tile or whatever like that. So, yeah, cool thing I noticed, but because I'm going to have to spend some hours anyway, and I didn't manage to juggle into a second, I may as well just go see what this turns into, if it's anything. Made about 500k from these worms so far, 777 killed, closing in on our first 1000. And that's a dud. Right, well, I'm going to go restock, get back to my worm grind. 12 sleepless hours later. And we are fully stocked up now, folks. At least for a little bit more. 400 moths, 5,000 bolts. We'll run out sooner or later, but I'm hoping it's gonna last me till at least like 1500 KC. And I've also got these lizard kickers. They give a range boost. You buy them from a pub in Shazian. I was looking at range boosts just to see if there's any other ways I could potentially like make up for the lack of range in pots and get some quicker kills. So I think I'd give these a go. I bought 240, three of them. Don't know if four per trip is the right amount. It's only a plus four boost, but the negative stats aren't gonna impact me. So I figured it was worth a shot. They're only like 20 GP each or something, so fuck knows how much it even cost me. But yeah, stocks up, gonna head back on over to the worms now and crack on with this grind. That was 1000 KC, 1000 worms, one triple O. I promise I'm not insane yet. I'm about two inches away from it. Yeah, this is probably going to be my last trip for the night. I'm getting pretty tired. It's getting pretty late, too. So, probably should go to bed. I'm just going to wrap this trip up first. Two days later. That was 1,500 worms killed. 1,500 KC we have now passed. No dragon items yet. We should theoretically expect to see one dragon item by 2,500 because there's four different types we can get and they've all got a 1 in 10,000 drop rate so theoretically to get any dragon item it's 1 in 2,500 but nothing so far got about 900 bolts left which I will of course see through before I go back to restocking again I guess assuming we haven't got it by that point lizard kickers are doing nice work We'll gain him plenty of ranged and hit points levels to 78 range now, 83 hit points. Could gain a couple of max hits over the time of being here. I think it's currently at like 16, but if I'm fully boosted with the lizard kicker, it's 17. The kills are definitely quicker than when we started. It's like noticeably getting faster, which is kind of crazy, but maybe the accuracy is better too. I'm not sure. The accuracy is already pretty good. Yeah, nothing too crazy going on here. I've got a couple of good clues here that I've been juggling for the past couple days. This is the only good steps I've had in all of my kills since uh, I came back after that last restock. Had a few bad ones, which are tagged now, as you can see. So I will be 
trying to, I was going to try and stack up a full six steps to make it a sure thing, but when these bolts run out, I will be taking whatever clue steps I have and making a run at it, and it'll probably fail if it's just two of them, but oh well. Slightly better chances than doing them one by one at least. Well, hopefully we get a couple more before then. But yeah, there's no way I can juggle these clues like while I'm fucking AFKing bolts and moths and shit like that. I'll just, I'll lose track of it, so. Anyway, I guess I'll see you for the hard clues in 914 bolts. Okay, folks, well, the supplies are dry. 36 bolts left. We've got some moths and lizard kickers still, enough for like five invents or so, but we are running low, maybe ten invents actually. But we're, we're running low on pretty much everything, so I'm going to need to take like the rest of the day, basically the next six hours to restock on bolts and, and moths and lizard kickers. But I did manage to get another clue step, so we've got three here. And let me remind you, I had a hard clue on five completed steps. And that was not with juggling any. That was just one that managed to make it through. Now, I'll say that, but like, I have had a lot of bad steps in getting these three. There's been a lot of steps that I'm just like, oh, no, we can't do that. I'm praying hard can be four to six steps long, and we've got three definites here. So that's three extra chances to roll one that we could have a good step with. Come on, let this let this be a hard clue. If it is, I might end the episode because it's been fucking weeks since I've posted one and I need to get one out before Leagues really starts kicking off because this is probably going to be the last episode before Leagues and then we'll pick things up again afterwards. All right, let's just remind ourselves what these are because I have no idea. Wilderness near Lava Maze, Sammy Wizard. Okay, let's see if there's any non-wilderness ones first. Uh, wilderness Dark Warriors Fortress. Okay. Uh, Wizard's Tower at Draenor. That's fine. We'll do that. Oh yeah, and I built a portal chamber with the Battlefront Teleport when I was about to run out of Teletabs. So I've been using that to get there now, just house teleporting instead with extra runes. Now nah, we can't do Jigig. That's unfortunate. So the first one has died already. I'm just making sure I mark it, so... I know whenever I get this step in future, it's a bad one because it, it stays marked just on that step. Okay, one down. So these should both stay, say they have one step completed still. We'll do this one first because uh, it's just in a crate. We don't need anything. So we'll get a burning amulet and dueling ring and that's it. I'm going to get food as well actually. Protect the clue. Another thing I should say is we have stocked up a fuck ton of prayer. We can get all the way up to level 72, and I will be doing that at some point soon. But it's going to take a lot of AFKing, or a lot of spam clicking at the altar, if not AFKing. That is a lot. 185 wines worth, that's like a lot. Okay, let's just get out of here before we look at the clue. It's not marked, so... Talk to the head chef in there. I think we can do that. Don't know if we have a chef's hat. If I ever got one as a drop, I will have kept it. Bingo. Okay, so this is a good step. We can mark it as green and it's got two steps completed. Cool, let's go do it. Okay, unmarked again. Oh, that's a doable wilderness step. This is three completed steps. So this could be a completion on this one. Southeast of Lava Dragon Isle by some Chaos Dwarfs. Okay, closest teleport looks like crabs. And then we'll have to run south a little bit. I should probably restock on points here soon. Off we go. I don't know what world I'm on. I hope it's not a busy one. 300 people online. It is not a busy one. Oh, hello. It is one with two PKs just there. Easy peasy. We got a casket! Let's go! Okay, we need to make it out of the wilderness live. I should have brought 30 telly. I could have brought a ring of wealth. Still got one clue on the floor, but it doesn't need to be on the floor now, so I can just bank it for the next session rather than waste it on a potential. Oh, this could be huge. It could be nothing as well. I mean, hard clues are usually something decent. Oh, this could be so much stuff right now. Y'all have no idea. Oh, we got a hard clue completed on the account. And I actually got it all on camera as well. That's awesome. So you know it's legit. We got this step left near a rune I or I will bring that back with me when it comes to worm time. Make sure I'm dropping it. Let's open 
This bad boy. This hard casket. Come on. Something. Give me something good. You know what? I'll take a black dehyde body. I'm not too mad about that. That's probably an upgrade, right? If we look at the mixed hide top, it's a ever so slight upgrade on the ranged accuracy. And I guess the magic and ranged defenses as well. It looks better though. It's a classic piece of gear. It goes alongside our ancient robe legs and our useless teleports to zones that we'll never be able to access. That's an alk. I've got a lot of random shit that I need to alk, to be honest. I think I'm going to keep these runite limbs. I can actually make them into things right away. Well, we do have quite a formidable cash stack as well next to our 1654 worm bones so i can go get myself a humongous prior level now which is nice to say the least extra little upgrades there on the black di body plus the red di chaps were picked up as a drop from worms many many times so you know we've got that as well when we get back to some ranging where we don't care about prayer as much. 1650 killed so far. Honestly, I've got a lot of footage already. So I'm going to start editing, put it all together and see how much I've got. Because I have a feeling it's already going to be a long video. And, you know, I'm only, what, 16% of the way there, potentially. And that's not even a sure thing. So this is going to be a long grind, folks. And Leagues is coming up in two weeks. If I, if this is like the end of the video and I decide to cut to the, the end credits here, then I wouldn't expect another video before leagues unless a miracle happens and I just get a dragon sword in the next like 1000 KC. Like I'll keep grinding away at it and filming and shit, but I feel like I need to get some content out for y'all before league starts really kicking off. So yeah, I'll probably be putting this out when I finish editing it with all the footage I've got so far. The worm grind. <laughs> is not a one and done unfortunately not quite so easy but yeah we've got plenty to look forward to when we come back after leagues yeah, if this is the end for now I don't, I, i'm speaking too much i think i'm tired i think i've killed too many worms today i think i'm done for the day if you enjoyed this episode of the wild west please do make sure to hit that like button it helps out a ton just promotes me into the world so more people can find the content that you're enjoying and we can grow this channel even further and subscribe too if you haven't already so you don't miss any of the future content I have a huge back catalogue by now and i'm only adding to it more as we go so stick around to see all of that by hitting the subscribe button look after yourselves be lovely to each other and i'll see you on the next one